passed down to you by Cuauhtémoc, Jaguar warrior of Tenochtitlan. Another omen. The lake around the great city of Tenochtitlan rose and boiled. It foamed until it washed against the houses of the city, sweeping many of them into the lake. I accompanied our dignitaries to meet with the new arrivals. We journeyed towards the coast, through the lands of our enemies, the Tlaxcala. When we emerged from the forest, the strangers welcomed us, although they kept their weapons nearby. I told them that we were Aztecs, representatives of the great Montezuma. Their leader said that his people were Spanish, and he named himself Cortés, although he seemed pleased when we referred to him as Quetzalcoatl. Although their armor and animals seem otherworldly, they did not seem like gods to me. We presented Cortés gifts of finest cotton and plumes of bird feathers, but he seemed more interested in the gold ornaments. He asked again and again if there was more gold to be found in Tenochtitlan. By now, Cortés had advanced all the way to the lands of the Tlaxcala. There was initial warfare made between Tlaxcala and the Spanish. However, when Cortés heard stories about the size of Tenochtitlan and the number of our brave Aztec warriors, he suggested that the Spanish and the Tlaxcala join forces and attack the Aztecs. We do not know the intentions of these Spanish arrivals. For now, our enemies are the Tlaxcala. Comanche? Who? Oak. Bantu. Who? Oak. Oak. Who? Spanish are attacking our allies in Tabasco. We must come to their aid. Comanche? Bantelwun. Ku? Bantelwun. Bantelwun. Ok. Ku? Comanche? Ach, zack, ach, zack. Junke. Our runners have confirmed that the Spanish and Tlaxcala have formed an alliance against us. Now we must do battle with them both. Oak. The Spanish armies are dangerous because of the beasts they ride into battle. If we could capture these animals, then the Spanish would be much less of a threat.
This is the pen where we will corral the captured Spanish horses. Oh. Oh. It is to no avail. The Spanish beasts and weapons are more powerful than our warriors. Tabasco is lost.
But ne. Sakuna. Umanze. Debio. Okay. Ach, zack. Ach, zack. Ach, zack. Ach, zack. Ach, zack. Ach, zack. Oh, ach, zack. Oh, ach, zack. Umanze. But ne. Sakuna. Ne, Sakuna. Comanche. Kek, Bantelwon. Sak, Unani. Bincha. Ok. Ok, 
Okay. Ach, ich sehe. Hey, ich ho. Band nicht. Ok. Ich ho. Ach, zack. Manze, ach zack. Was ne? Manze, zack, unane. Head, zack, unane. Manze, Jebio, Bantel Wun. Ok, Junke, Ban, Ku, Bantel Wun. Ku, Ok, Bantel Wun. Manze, Ok. Bantle 
But nay, Bantel won. Outside. Mantel. Oh. 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 Oh
Manze, Fenzak, Mann.
We have captured 10 Spanish horses. We are halfway to our goal. Umante, Umante, Now that we have all of the Spanish forces, they will be unable to send their deadly knights and conquistadors into battle. We have defeated the Tlaxcalans and slowed the Spanish advance, but I fear the final confrontation is yet to come. fought well that day. My men were frightened by the beasts that the Spanish rode into combat, and by the noise of their exploding weapons. Although we had survived the attack, 
I thought it best to withdraw towards Tenochtitlan and share with Emperor Montezuma all that we had learned. I don't know if my uncle Montezuma was being cowardly or merely trying to preserve us from the wrath of the gods, but he sent more gifts to Cortez along with an invitation to visit our great city as his personal guest. I was there when Montezuma met Cortez on one of the causeways leading into our great city. The Spanish had evidently never seen anything like Tenochtitlan, and they stared in wonder at the brightly colored markets and pyramids rising out of a man-made island in the middle of the gigantic lake Texcoco. Some of the Spanish soldiers asked whether it was all a dream, the first glimpse of things never heard, seen, or dreamed before. Montezuma led Cortez to the top of the Great Pyramid, where he pointed out the various canals and neighborhoods of the city. But Cortez was mostly interested in gold ornaments, and helped himself to any which he encountered. I was no longer convinced that this man was Quetzalcoatl. So says Cuauhtémoc, jaguar warrior of Tenochtitlan.